Welcome back to CN8 Extra. I'm Nicole Fox. You know, you have to like someone who takes pride in his work, and Dr. Thomas Denmutter was such a man. He was a professor of surgery and a collector of medical oddities. His specimens were a teaching tool for his students, and when he retired, his collection became the foundation for the unforgettable, yet somewhat disturbing, Mütter Museum. In some ways, there's no way to prepare someone for what they're going to see here. Simply, you look at this and it broadens you as to what the possibilities are in the realm of human pathology. Most of these possibilities are pretty frightening. If you didn't know better, you'd swear the decorator from hell did this place. Instead of paintings on the walls, the Mutter has skulls, 139 of them. Freestanding art? It takes on a whole new meaning here. Museum director Gretchen Weirden. The fact is that it is real material. And we start as a museum of pathology, and pathology is not pretty. And a lot of people don't know how they're going to react to this material until they see it. And some find that they are surprised to see how fascinated they are. And others simply find they can't handle it. If you can get past the gross-out factor, you'll be amazed by Dr. Mutter's collection of medical oddities. Where else can you see a skeleton of a seven and a half foot man next to a three and a half foot woman? Look at all the diseases you don't want to get. Meet Harry, an unfortunate Philadelphian who grew more skeletal bone than anyone really wants. My favorite thing is the plaster cast of Chang and Ang, the original Siamese twins. After they died, we did their autopsy here. We were permitted to make that cast. We were allowed to keep their livers. And that's, um, it's just, it's a wonderful privilege to be able to be part of the story of two such amazing individuals. And last but not least, the infamous Soap Lady. Oh, the Soap Lady. Oh, she's wonderful. She is really a part of old Philadelphia that is still with us today. She continues to provide new information about herself, about uh, the condition of adipose sear, which is a natural form of preservation of soft tissues. And it's because she's still here, and that's the case with so many of the specimens. You can always go back to them. You may have new ways of examining them, testing them, new questions to ask of them, and as long as you have them as well preserved as you can, you can always go back and find out more from them. Whether you're a curious layman or a medical student, Dr. Mutter's teaching collection continues to teach today. Everybody takes away something different. It depends on what you bring to it. Um, you know, a physician is going to see an entirely different museum than a five-year-old kid, but they will all find it a memorable experience. For CN8 Extra, I'm Kathy Malone.